today I am back with another video on first impressions slash what I got at Ulta. Um, I got the candy collection and I'm so excited to show you guys how they work and if you guys want to stay tuned to see what I got, just a little glimpse, just keep on watching. And today, oh, I'm going to do a first impression. So I went to Ulta yesterday to show you what I got so of course you know yesterday was the launch of ta -da, the candy Johnson palette so I got a couple things from there I didn't get the whole collection because seriously I don't need the eyeliner and I don't need the highlight homegirls has hella highlight and I really don't need it but I'll show you what I got really quick so I got the candy Johnson palette colors look beautiful from the back and the swatches Oh my gosh, the swatches. Whew. I also got the banana powder. Then I also got um, the candy melted liquid lip. This one, what color is this? Freshly baked. And they also gave me the plumper for like a free gift. And the other free gift was also a Stila eyeliner, which I think I'm going to be using most of the products today. Then I also got another of my backup um, favorite concealers. What else? And then I also got these cute little rubber bands. It's supposed to help your hair. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but... I'll keep you guys posted and then I also got the other lip liquid lip and it's in melted eyes I got the neutrals because I really don't wear bold lips anymore plus I feel like I have a lot of hot pinks and reds already so I didn't think I should get them so um yeah so that's what I got but today I'm just gonna be trying out the stuff and right, so since I already primed my eyelids and I did my brows because I was just gonna try the makeup on and then I was like you know what let me just film a video because homegirl has not filmed my video in a long time so this is the box the box is like hella sturdy um and then I want the candy recipe yada 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 dude she's beautiful I wonder if I can look like that one day <laughs> anyway so this is how it comes in that is so cute and it's kind of like dome like look do you guys see it like right here it's like domey and then it comes with this little sticker I don't know if you guys care about the packaging but I'm just gonna open it if you guys care about it you guys should go to Ulta and buy it or just check it out <laughs> all right You guys, it smells, ow, <laughs> it smells amazing, let me see, oh, this is pretty thick too, look at all those pretty colors, I love this palette just because the neutrals, there's a lot of neutrals in here, and seriously, I feel like this is going to be my go-to palette because these colors are totally, totally my colors, and I love when palettes put see how this one's kind of shimmery look it's shimmery and I love when palettes put mattes because I don't always want a shimmery brow bone you guys see that oh my gosh I'm like so excited to try it out so let's try this baby out so that um I did notice a lot of fallout but then again I'm sure there's a lot of fallout because I use a fluffy brush to like. It also depends what kind of brushes you use. So I'm using pastry as my transition color. I'm just going to blend it in the crease. Voila. I love this shade so much, you guys. It's a beautiful light, light 
chocolate medium brown I mean it doesn't leave it too dark and it doesn't leave it too light and I love it they're very blendable as well they're not patchy like some colors can be very patchy this one is pretty pretty smooth okay so now I'm gonna be using the raspberry cocoa Let's see how that goes okay so I dunked my brush into the product with the M506 and I didn't get any fallout so that's a plus like I said fluffy brushes tend to give you fallout so um, not this brush though this is a perfect brush for it it's beautiful I don't know if you guys can tell, but look how pretty and pigmented that is. <sighs> Excuse my sweaty face, you guys. It's fucking hot. Hence why I haven't done a video because my light, my ring light, produces so much heat. And here in California, uh, the heat, heat and I don't get along. Heat and I are, we can be frenemies. I love the heat when it's the winter, but on the summer, in the summer, I'm not a big fan of the heat at all. All right, so now I'm going to be using, using a frosted pink. All right, and once again, I'd make sure my brush was pretty clean. And now I'm going to go in. Oh, my gosh. That is so cute. That's a pretty pink. Do you guys all see how shimmery it is? How shimmery? Shimmery it is. Liner in your life, you're like, I'm only gonna do wing liner. I'm gonna go to Liz's channel. You know what I mean? Like, easier for you guys to just do it versus like, you know, when you see tutorials like this one, you kind of just have to go through the whole video to, you know, to do it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to do like a whole separate video on each part of my face. The shimmery can get in the mats, and that's not cute. All right. You guys saw how I did that? Super quick. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was like this. Sorry. All right. And now I'm going to be using my other brush, and I'm going to be going in with ice cream and putting it on the brow bone. Since I already have shimmer on the lid, I don't want shimmer on the actual brow bone. Candy Johnson did a really good job with uh, um, providing us with matte brow bones because that's what I like. I don't want a shimmer brow bone most of the time, so you go, girl. All right, so now I'm going to finish out the eyes with the Stila. And then I think I'll come back for my lips and my, the, oh, and the banana powder too. So let me do this and then um, I'll be back, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to go in with hot chocolate and I'm going to put it on the bottom lash line over the cocoa, ras or was it raspberry cocoa? Cocoa? Then I don't know if I want to do the cho chocolate on the crease as well. I might because I'm a little dramatic like that, but you don't have to. This is like the perfect eye look. Just something simple, but homegirl can be basic sometimes, but most of the time, either go big or go home. I try to live by that motto sometimes, except on my jeans. Ay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lord. Okay, now I'm just going to blend it. They blend beautifully, you guys. Look at that. No effort. And I guess I'll go with my other brush and go into the hot chocolate because it's a really pretty color. Uh, I don't know if I want to because I already put my eyeliner. Damn it. I'll just do a little bit.
Okay. That looks good, right? By the way, before I forget, I did try this liquid liner. I didn't like it. It's the Stila one, but it's not even pigmented enough. Do you guys see that? How blotchy it is? And it doesn't look too black on my eyes. I think I'm going to go back with my Inglot. Because this is not, it's not good enough. Okay, I couldn't find my Inglot, so I'm just going to go over with my NYC one. I don't know if you guys be able to tell the difference, but NYC is a lot more pigmented. Damn. Do you guys see the difference? I do. Fuck, I po I poked my eye. I think I'm getting a pink eye now. <laughs> it's so irritated. I'm not sure if the Stila eyeliner did that. Or it was the eyeshadow brush that I dabbed my eye into or dabbed it into my eye but I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and then I'll come back to use the rest of the products okay all right I am back in my eye lord don't look at it because I think it might be a pink eye <sighs> anyway I'm gonna finish off my face with the banana powder and this is supposed to Brighten up your under eye or your face. Oh, that's so cute. Look. Homegirl outdid herself with the... I love the mirror. She outdid herself with the packaging. Um, I know you guys can tell, but it's pretty yellow. It has like... It's like a natural skin tone. Or like a fair skin tone with yellow and purple and green little dots and blue and stuff all right so I'm gonna use this for my under eye since I always use my yellow banana powder by wet and wild let's see how this one works well it kind of does the same thing I think it's just a regular powder. My face is so sweaty, you guys. I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I am sweaty. I like it. I'm going to blot my face, finish up my powder, and I will come back to my lips. All right, so I am pretty much done with my face. This is how it looks once again excuse my eye and now I'm gonna go in with the lip plumper and then I'm gonna go and use the matte liquid lips okay and I want a glossy lip today hence why I'm putting on the lip plumper plus I do want fuller lips um, so what I'm gonna do is to try attempt the ombre lip with these two colors I heard um, they're very blendable, so I guess we'll see how they work. And I'm gonna try it out with. I'm gonna try out the. What is this color called? Freshly baked, I think this one's called. Yes, the freshly baked and the other nude one. So, while my lip pump is still kicking in, I'm gonna go in. Oh my gosh. That is creamy. That is hella creamy. Mm. It smells amazing. Down. I think I put too much. Ugh. <laughs> I think I did put too much. Okay, before it dries, I'm gonna go in with the other shade. <laughs> Melted ice cream. Okay, Chan. Do what you gotta do, Chan. Did you guys hear him? Huh? 
Let's blend this baby in. I'm gonna get the product from the bottom to the top and then from the top to the bottom. Like so. Uh, I don't like how that looks. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna let that sit. You know what? I'm not liking it. I shouldn't have put the lip plumper. Because I think it's changing the formulation of it. So, let's just try it again and let's just use the pink one today. Look at how bright my lips are now. Okay, that is a lot better. Awesome. All right. So this is the finished look. Ta-da! <laughs> Ay, chupitos. All right. So hopefully you guys liked it. Sorry for the hair. I know you guys can't really see it, but you know, I'm the type of girl who gets her face beat and I don't do my hair. So I'm always going to do that all the time. So don't mind that. Anyway, so this is how my face looks. I love these products, you guys. The liquid lips feel really good. The foundation or the um, eye powder was good. It wasn't bad. The eyeshadows were amazing. So for this freaking collection, I give it a 9. <sighs> no. Let's give it a 10. Let's give it a 10. No, a 9. Because I didn't try out the highlight, nor did I try out the eyeliner. But with the products I got myself, I think I would go for a 10. These are amazing. The quality is amazing. The pigmentation, the blendability, everything. It's on point. I love it. Congrats to Candy Johnson if she ever sees this video. Anyways, um, yeah, well, this is all done, you guys. With that being said, um, I'm gonna get going and enjoy the rest of my Labor Day weekend. So slow motion for me, slow motion for me, moving slow motion for me. Slow motion for me, slow motion for me, moving slow motion for me. I like it like 